Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Steam World Quest. Today we are heading into the next chapter, whatever it might be, it looks like it's chapter 15, the Root of the Curse. Our Oriental squad enters the Druid's Sanctum. All right, well this is surely not gonna be easy. Chapter 15, the Root of the Curse. Because nothing's been easy in this game recently. It's been all super tough. Anyways, let's see what's going on. Oh hey, look at you, you're always here, aren't you? <laughs> they don't even bother explaining it. It's just sort of accepted that she'll be wherever we are. Uh, let's see what might be available. Is there anything new? Doesn't quite look like it. All right then, so, I mean, did I get the one I wanted? Yeah, I got all the weapons I wanted. So I don't have to worry about buying those too much. I don't know if I really want any of this stuff. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't know what this is. The sound it makes is like, okay, it's storm power up, okay. Huh. Yeah, nothing too crazy here. We could try to look for either crafting or upgrading cards. I know I haven't done this too much recently. It's just sort of tough. <laughs> this is a lot of damage here. 340% strength, there's frost damage to one foe. But we already have a lot of frost damage is the thing. Huh. Yeah, there's like lots of options, but like. I'm not really sure. Definitely if there's any like good non-gear moves, that'd be great, like insult to injury, physical damage to one foe, stronger against taunted foes. Like that's not too bad. Quite a lot of physical damage, right? 75%, I guess it's okay. We also have Abs of Steel, Grant Scalio, physical immunity. Uh, and then over here for her, she has Burning Desire. Raises Copernicus fire damage by one grade. Like, that'd be great if we're doing more fire stuff. This looks nice. Kilovolt does 45 to 135% magic damage to storm damage to one foe. Like, that seems pretty good. I could consider that one. Let's just do it. We'll go at it. I'll see. I don't know if it would work with our current deck, though. I mean, it's all so focused on frost. Like, that's sort of the thing. I mean, we could certainly try to change that. It's tough to, though, for sure. I feel like that could be pretty good, though. Hold on. I don't know, like I know it takes me just a while to figure all this stuff out. I'm not the best. Uh, maybe instead of like one mana berry, we could do one doubt. I don't know if that'd be the best right now with this heal and save and all that. Oh, move forward with it. Maybe we'll regret that heavily. I'm not sure. There's the old scoundrel now. Oh, oh my gosh, what is that thing? I'm gonna guess that's the Necronomicog. Calm tree, nice tree. Now that I've sent those snoops to pick a fight with the ringmaster, I can buy back their parts and feed them to you. I should keep you calm enough for me to tap even more of that sweet, sweet moon juice. This abomination is most definitely caused by the powers of the Necronomagog. This is scary. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Oh, you again, how did you? Game's up, we're here to stop your macabre. Little chemistry shop. I don't know how to spell that or pronounce it. I know how to spell it, I saw it right there. Yeah, we know you have the Necronomicog. He actually told you? And, and shh, not so loud, you're stirring the tree. I just, I have just given it a bedtime snack. Oh, Bob, I always knew you were slippery, but hello, you can't just walk around feeding evil trees with your own customer base. So what, it's the circle of life. Well then, if that's the case, feed yourself to the tree. Now get away from here, or you'll turn my life's work into ruins. You're so selfish. Shut your face, you've been hoodwinking people long enough. I'll cut you down, both down, the, and that, well, I'll cut both you and that bloated tree of yours. Don't touch the tree, it needs its beauty sleep to produce the juice. And it really doesn't like any talk about cutting. <laughs> Now you've done it. You've been angered it. Ah, calm down, my dear. I've gotten a fresh batch of parts for you down in the catacombs. 
I'll just have to cut them up first and oh no, ah! Oh no. Oh, <laughs> yikes. See ya, buddy. Poetic justice in its most macabre form. They really like that word today. Timber! Oh great, well now we get to fight a big angry tree. You'd think we'd just be able to leave this thing and it would just go away, right? Eventually, over time. So now we have the unshrouded light. Like I feel like that could be really good. We'll have to wait and see. That might be a bad idea in general. Anyways. Not the best situation, but we'll work with it. 18,900 health. How crazy is that? I could already do Untrouded Light. It's not the best move to do right now, though. So we'll just do this. Getting the Guardian up. Guardian up would be pretty good. There we go. Big twig. Oh no. Ow. <laughs> There's a little smack. Another big twig. Ow. Come on, we can do this. We do have Dow. Like, I don't know if that's a good move for this situation. I know, I make all the wrong choices. Uh, we'll do that. Okay, 255 is actually not too bad. Now you're gonna be really weak to uh, frozen stuff. What in the world? Do we have to fight those individually? It's my least favorite thing in boss fights like this, have all these other things to attack. Actually, yeah, let's do this. Got that chain going on. Because I know he's weaker to fire. Oh my gosh. Nice, that's actually doing pretty good. Got rid of one of the arms, very good. But now they get to attack a lot. Oh, ow. And okay, that's they don't attack for too much. Here we go, now we got some interesting stuff going on. Let's cycle through this, and again. And that's all I got, okay. We'll try this out and see how it goes. Nice. Hit him for 1,764, it's not too bad. He's got bad breath, oh no. Oryx confused, not really good time for that. So this is where that punch would be useful, which probably means we're not gonna get it. We got only Auric cards, what? That was insane, I've never seen that happen before. My gosh, might as well do stuff that maybe like, yeah, we'll just do, if I could, see if I can't get lucky. I don't know if that's worth doing, but now's the time to sort of test our luck, I suppose. Yes, okay, it worked. We're gonna attack quite a lot here. Even though it didn't really heal too much of them, because I, I knew that uh, Copernica here can't. This is where it's like, oh, it'd be so good if we could get that punch move. Let's cycle through that, and this. We get Doubt, we get another Lie Cut. Uh. There we go, I, I need the chain. So do the creeping cold on you. It missed, why is it missing? Uh, is it the blindness? Oh yeah, we're blinded right now. Mmm, I really need Galio's move. It would be so good to get right now, so good. And that's not it, okay. Uh, and the most of them are sort of getting over their ailments now. Okay, we'll just focus on other stuff. Oh, I probably shouldn't have cycled through the cyclone cut. Yeah, that was sort of silly of me to do. Hmm. We'll try that out. Earning up more gears, at least for now, is something. Oh my gosh, he's tough though. Like 14,000 health still left over. I don't know if we're gonna do it this time. I like we definitely got like a bad roll. Okay. Uh, not what I wanted. Oh, it's forcing me to use Berserker Bash? I don't even have Berserker Bash. Oh yeah, I guess that's sort of that move, how that works, isn't it? Okay, so we should do Overcharge on you, and we should do Chill Out on you. We'll see how that goes. Okay, got rid of one of the trees. Whoa, nice. Okay, it got her back up to full, which is sort of what we wanted, so I'm happy with that. I mean, that's really why we can't focus on the branches though, because they're just gonna come back. Now we got this, but it's just a little bit out of our grasp for the exact moment. Okay. Hold on, is that attacking the tree? Yes it is, okay. Got that. Oh, it's forcing me to use that again. I don't like it when it does that. I gotta do this. So let's see how this works. 
Whoa! That was so much damage! That was so cool! That was like 5,000 damage right there! Oh my gosh, that was so cool. That was well worth it. And now nobody's confused. That's a really good move. Um. Yeah, I can't quite do that yet. But I can do this. Next turn should be good. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Your Scalio is sorta of hurting at the moment, and they're not going after him, actually. I mean, some of them are. This is where the, the cold move would be great. I, I gotta keep the Cyclone Slash, even if I'm not using it right now. I don't have enough gears to make that work. Okay, um, I can do that, and then this, and then that. And that at least does some stuff. It missed. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need one, another one of those punch moves. So many stats I have to, oh, now you're healing. Don't heal, pretty please don't heal. Huh. I mean, actually, she already has her cold boosted. Can we reroll this? Reload it again? That's better. We'll do that. I'm just trying to earn up as many gears as I possibly can right now so we can do the super heal again. I mean, Copernica doesn't need it, but if we could put on Galio or Auric, that'd be great. So we're gonna, yeah, he's gonna raise more of that. We'll corrupt the seed. Oh, here we go. Um, Actually do this. Is he immune to, yeah, he's immune to basically everything. But that's fine. Because we can do that now. If I could just, oh, I'm not gonna be able to heal him in time, I don't think. Like, I'm gonna try. Oh, well, he's probably gonna get taken out here. Oh, now you're dizzy. At a really bad time, actually. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there he goes, okay. I need to be able to get him back. I might as well just use that there, and that there, and just sort of go with that. I can use one more move. What should I do? No, I shouldn't reload that. I should reload regeneration. There we go. That could actually work out. Gotcha. Okay, this is a little bit of a better situation now. Okay, so he healed himself again there. So what I wanna do is this and hope that works out. It does do a lot of damage, bringing down to 5,322. We got haste set up, he's gonna do big twig move. That's not fun, he's doing it again. Okay, at least not against orc twice. So this is definitely not the perfect situation. But if I could just earn up more gears, that'd be fantastic. So I can do the heart, the healing move. That did some good damage, that did too. Oh my. Okay. Uh, lots of options for sure. I wouldn't mind doing this right now. Really want it. I think I gotta. Have you shield yourself? We'll hit you like that, and we'll do that, and we'll see how much it does. If it does as well as it did last time, I don't think it will. This could be enough to take him out. Oh my gosh, it did. That move is so good! Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. And we beat him! All right, we get level 34 for Copernica and Galio. That is amazing. So glad to see that. Woohoo! all bark and no bite. And now the Necronomicon awaits us down this hole? Only one way to find out. That's to hop in, I guess. Oh my. What's happening? I guess they jumped down. It's pitch dark. Feels like gazing into a black onyx. Oh. Guys, I feel something really sh slimy and disgusting over here. I thought he was gonna say shiny. Um, you, I don't know what I was trying to say. He's standing on his mouth, I think. Whoa. This must be it. So this is it, the legendary Necronomicog. 
to imagine that this artifact is the root of so much suffering. I thought it would be more heart-shaped. Indeed, it is a heart, but the heart of a monster. Created by the goddess of deceit, from the bodies of distinguished alchemists and outstanding warriors. Melted together to forever drive the pulse of the behemoth. That version was not in the hero's handbook. So much pain and suffering bore it into this world. No wonder it energ its energies were so utterly corrupted and destructive. Whoa. Hey, what's going on? It's starting to glow. R remarkable. Our heroes grabbed the ancient artifact. I don't know how good of an idea that is. Oh my. Hey, it disappeared. And returned it with the prize to the light above. Okay, very cool, we got the Necronomicon. What is going on? Void soldiers, you're surrounded, stay where you are. Oh, scrap. It's a void army. Without hesitating, our heroes assessed the situation and prepared to, I think we'd better stay calm, very calm. The Dark Lord approaches, make way, all hail the Dark Lord. Who is this guy? Well, well, what do we have here? What in the world is this guy? He doesn't look very nice. A curious company of fortune seekers, doubtlessly led by their misguided beliefs, and you. Hello, old friend. What? Looks like you've done my work for me. Come a thousand years, I would never imagine you standing before me. So dotty with the Necronomicog already activated. But here I am. Here you are. Here we stand. In a dream of silence, a comforting night. The grinding gears of endless time halt to catch their breath. Wait, so is Orc a bad guy? That verse! It's your Gilgamesh, the true ancient hero. Oh. What? <laughs> At least someone remembers who saved the world from total annihilation. But it's still not enough, Auric. But this group is proof that I was right. True heroism was never completely gone. They awoke the Necronomicog from its slumber. It reacted to their acts of qualities. I thought I made myself clear when I put you in that cage. I'm fed up with your foolish reasoning. Your group is nothing more than an exception. I hate to admit, I got a bit worried when you beat my rare bird alchemist. She promised me that if I gathered enough of these worthless guild heroes, she'd be able to awaken the Necronomicog for me. If she could do it without true heroes, then your little band proves nothing. But at least you spared me the trouble of finding a new alchemist master. The deeds of this group proves everything. Small sparks of heroism can grow into great change. Changing the world craves a real and potent act of true heroism. A beacon to break through the darkness, not some small spark. The corrupt state of society cannot be disputed. Just look at how easily I could gather this evil army. So are you evil or not? He's talking about us, hooray for the Dark Lord. Bah. These weak-willed puppets that cling to me just underline the dis dimness through which we must wade. Only I can put things right, just like I did before. You stood by my side then, Auric. Now give me the Necronomicog and let us reshape this world together. I know you are sad because you feel people have forgotten all about your heroics, but this is not about you. I do not have time for this meaningless jabber. I am the beacon. And since you won't willingly hand over the Necronomicon, Cog, old friend, you force my hand. The hand of Gilgamesh. Oh. Whoa, oh no, we're paralyzed. What is this? I can't move. Oh, great. 
Lord. Now, with the Necronomicog in my grasp, it is time to withdraw for the final preparations. The hand, the high hand of destiny calls. Well, this isn't good. This is the opposite of good. The Dark Lord departs, make way, all hail the Dark Lord. Oh. But you're the hero, don't go. Please. Heartbroken hero. Aw, deals 410% strength as fire damage to one foe and 35% strength as fire to damage to Armili. Yikes! Inflicts despair on the foe for three turns. That seems like it could be pretty good though. Like just going all risk with Armili. I mean, we've we've had a move like that now for like everybody where it does like a lot of damage to one person but also damage to them. So now I guess they're just sort of gathered by a fire or something. But Auric, if you knew all this time that Gilgamesh was the Dark Lord, why did you keep it from us? I needed to make sure you were up for the task, or I would just send you towards an early grave. You have proven yourselves beyond any doubt to be true heroes, and I'm sorry that I have led you astray. How did we even end up here in this mess? There are a lot of things you'll, you need to tell us. <sighs> why does it matter? Nothing matters. Oh, poor Armilly. The first time I met Gilgamek was in the temperance of Le Lux Ultima, a knightly order in the northernmost mountains. From his first day, everybody adored him, and he just loved it. He was pure as the driven snow, unmatched in strength and bravery, but, hmm. Prone to caper his way through the more self-reflecting disciplines. <sighs> How many evenings did I not spend trying to enthuse him in the philosophy or visual arts? When the Grand Knight chose Gilgamesh to ride against the behemoth, I, in turn, was chosen to be his companion and squire, sidekick, if you will. You have all heard the story about how we defeated the monster, so I won't go into detail. Suffice to say, Gilgamek tore the Necronomicog right out of the monster. The Grand Knight of Lux Ultima made certain to find a proper place for the Necronomicog, burying it in secret, remote location where it would do no harm. In any case, when I last met Gilgamek after all of this time, he had changed. He thought himself forgotten and the age of heroes to be over. He wanted to use the Necronomicog, his plan was to reawaken the behemoth so he could defeat it and be the great hero again. Or, as he said, show people what true heroism is really about. Armili, did you know Gilgamesh set up the first organized guild back in the day to promote true heroism? Whatever. <laughs> I tried to make him see the folly of his plan but I could see in his big, brave eyes that my words, the message fell on deaf ears. The Grand Knight would never disclose the whereabouts of the Necronomicog, but I could not rely on its secret location to keep Gilgamesh from reaching his goal, so I needed to find another way of stopping him. I needed to convince him that true heroism still existed, and when he caged me and my hopes were at an all-time low, I found you. And you did show me true heroism, but I see now how I lost my old friend, Is. It is all about his own glory. What a fool I have been. You think you're the fool? Huh? Ever since we set out on this swing, I've had it up to my ears with wimpy heroes. Stuck up alchemists and corn fed druids and heck knows. Some mild protesting aside, I've let myself get dragged around half a kingdom with, with my, without much fuss. Right. <laughs> well, one thing I really can't accept is having done all this to simply give up as soon as going gets a little bit tougher. Darn straight, I'm not go going to let that bully end the world. Me, I've seen how easy it is to stray from even the path of science. When alchemy is used for the bad of the world instead of the good, let alone what it does to people we love. I can't let that be. I can't let that shape the world for future generations. I, I feel ashamed that I invited despair so far into my mind. Our time together underlines again and again that heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Whoa, he took off his mask. Oh, that's so cool. 
We must never give up on ourselves. We must never give up on the world. Faith is gaining ground. Oh, cool, Origin. Deals 100% strength as storm damage to one foe three times. Whoa, that's pretty good. Removes masks masks and raises or strength and magic by one grade each. I will definitely use that one. There is still time. There is still time. What say you, Armilly? Come on, Millie. Oh, I like Millie, that's cute. If this isn't a chance to deploy knowledge practically for the good of the many, then what is? Our heroes were down on their luck and at their lowest, but still, there was a spark of hope. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go beat us a Dark Lord. Alrighty, there we go, chapter 15, the root of the curse. Having both acquired and lost the Necronomicaga, our exhausted gang musters what it has left to follow Gilgamek into the dark frost mountains. Very cool, so the fall and the rise of our team happened all in one episode. Very crazy episode, I can't wait to try out that new uh, move for Auric, that'll be fun. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of SteamWorld Quest. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Hero. So you have watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.